Well, you've probably seen the commercials. Does taking Tylenol while you're pregnant, does it cause autism? We are digging into the accusations. There's now more than 100 lawsuits that claim that taking acetaminophen, the drug, and Tylenol while you're pregnant increases your child's chances of having autism or ADHD. A special master has been appointed to looking into it. But right now, and for years, Tylenol is a trusted and most safe painkiller for pregnant women. So we asked the question, are these claims true? Here's what we know. More than two dozen studies have found that heavy use of Tylenol while you're pregnant might be linked to an increase in autism or ADHD in your child. And a new study that just came out suggests pregnant women should not use acetaminophen or Tylenol unless medically required. But pregnancy experts are saying the evidence is inconclusive and more research is needed. Today, I spoke with Carlene DeGroote. Her son has autism and she's suing Tylenol. Here's our one-on-one -on -one interview. Well, Carlene, when did you first start noticing that something was wrong with your son, Devin? You know, as an infant, he never had really good eye contact. So that was one of the first clues. Um, from there, it was developmental milestones that he just didn't meet, um, including things like, like talking in general and just understanding. He was definitely trapped in his own bubble. As a mother of a child with autism, what was your initial thought when you've heard about these Tylenol lawsuits? What led you to believe that it was taking Tylenol that may have caused your son to have autism? Well, for our family, we had the opportunity to do genetic testing. We did full DNA genome sequencing on our son. It came back with no genetic component. We did other testing. Um, we have a good crew of physicians, a developmental pediatrician, naturopath, regular doctor. We've developed a good team to try to figure out not only why, but what can we do to help him? Um, everything has came back with no potential cause. Now, learning through this um, class action mass tort lawsuit that's going on, looking at that research, seeing that there could have potentially been that 20 to 30% increase in uh, the link of to that to autism, as of right now, it's the only possible thing that we have that it could uh, account for his having autism. There's been one big supporter of this movement. It has been advocate Aaron Brockovich, who was actually on News Nation uh, recently discussing this issue. Let's take a listen. My work in working with these women is getting the voices of them and their concerns for their children heard when we have science. And it feels like it's being suppressed or concealed once again. What is it like, Carlene, having her support? It means the world. Um, she's somebody who is educated, who's a force to be reckoned with. And in meeting with her, she's kind and just normal. Um, you know, this opens up a bigger issue in the world of autism, which is a lack of system. You have tens of thousands of parents who are doing their own research, trying to figure out how to care for their child, what could help their child. So having something like this lawsuit, it's it's forces the conversation as to a potential cause for autism. Um, it's going to bring education to people so they can make the best choice for themselves. If you're pregnant and you're in pain, if you choose to take, uh, take uh, Tylenol or acetaminophen products, the fact that you may have some more education behind you in knowing that it has that link to autism is what we want. We want people to be able to speak with their doctors and make the best decisions for themselves. What is it that you want other moms to know, other pregnant women to know? What is it that you wish that you knew when you were pregnant? Well, I want them to know that they're not alone. Um, autism is scary and there's a lot of hard times, but you're not alone. You're gonna meet some of the most amazing fellow parents ever. Um, I would like other moms to know that, be cautious of this medication. Use it directed by your physician as a conversation in um, any potential links that can occur. Um, I, I want parents to go on to autismjustice.com, look at the research, look at it yourself and make, make your own decisions. I'm big into education and people being able to make decisions for themselves. Carlene, thank you so much for having the courage to share your story. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.